welcome along to Diecast Dressdos. I'm Jason and today we are diving into the world of max power inspired builds as I take on the challenge of transforming this majorette Ford Escort into a true icon of that era. I'm tackling this as part of Diecast Heroes Magazine Volume 15 Back to the 80s and 90s Challenge. My build will be a tribute to Project 2000, a later Mark VI Escort RS2000 that was a real star of the scene. Here's how the Majorette model looks when mint, which was based on a 5th generation pre-1992 pre-facelift car like this. This is how Project 2000 looks, now owned by Jamie Brothwell who posts regular updates about Pinky on Instagram. These are the wheels I've chosen to use. Like I say, this is a tribute, not a replica. I liked the look of the Creative 164 Momo arrows and thought they would go well with the aesthetic of this build. There will be plenty of further nods to Project 2000 throughout. Before I get my hands too dirty, I'd best take a trip down memory lane and explore the Max Power culture that swept through the UK during the 90s. Max Power Magazine was the bible for car enthusiasts, featuring jaw-dropping modifications, insane body kits and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Max Power wasn't just a magazine though, it was a lifestyle. It captured the essence of the boy racer scene, where young enthusiasts pushed the boundaries of automotive customization. From neon lights to booming sound systems, Max Power builds were all about making a statement on the streets. Today, I'm not just customising a model car. I'm paying homage to an era that defined a generation of car enthusiasts. With the April build-off deadline for Diecast Heroes magazine looming, I'm pulling out all the stops to create a Max Power inspired tribute. There's plenty to get my teeth into on this Majorette Ford Escort to make it stand out from the crowd. Max Power Magazine launched its first issue in May 1993. It was a hit in the UK and it was published under license in Greece, Denmark, Norway, South Africa and in France under the name ADDX. Such was its popularity, in 1998 the Infogram's published PlayStation title C3 Racing was renamed as Max Power Racing in the UK. It even featured Pinky on the cover. During its time in print, Max Power was often criticised for its promotion of unauthorised cruise events, its campaigns against speed cameras and elderly drivers, and dangerous driving on public roads such as drifting and speeding. Following featured cruise events, the magazine would use a rating system to score them on the burnouts performed, police presence and the behaviours and attractiveness of girls attending the event. Linked to this, the magazine drew criticism for the half-naked women featured in the publication, with its content described as bottom shelf porn. These instances all gave the magazine a reputation for laddish behaviour and it meant that it was not taken seriously by some car enthusiasts. Despite this, Max Power was for long periods the best selling motoring magazine in Europe. This meant that manufacturers would often provide the magazine with test cars and give them exposure to new products in order for Max Power to cover their brands. But by 2010, the publisher suspended both Max Powers magazine and website after circulation had dropped from just shy of a quarter of a million to around 20,000 monthly copies. To celebrate the better aspects of the culture, my tribute to Project 2000 will take some of the colour of the period, literally, and inject it into this build. This Majorette Ford Escort arrived in their Serie 200 in 1992 in a pale blue shade like mine was. Between 1993 and 1998, it was painted yellow, had a number 5 racing livery and had a green instead of grey interior. From 1999 until its final year in 2003, it was painted black in an Infogram's V Rally livery. It was based on that of Ari Vatanen's 1998 Rally Finland entry. The model had a yellow interior and 5 spoke instead of 8 dot wheels. You'll see here that I've cut away the small lip spoiler only for a giant wing more suited to the Max Power era to replace it. 
In addition to the blue, yellow and black escorts, there was also a plastic bodied variant produced by Majorette owned Portuguese manufacturer Novacar. These were fluorescent yellow with number 3 racing tempos and a red interior. It also featured in red and green in Majorette's short lived Magic Cars series between 1994 and 1995. Now let's dive into the real Escort Mark V which made its debut in September 1990. Sporting a brand new body shell and simplified torsion beam rear suspension, this iteration marked a departure from the fully independent layout of its predecessor. Initially, it carried over the 1.3 litre Kent and 1.4 and 1.6 litre CVH petrol engines as well as the 1.8 litre diesel units. But it wasn't just a facelift. This model boasted significant improvements in aerodynamics. Inside, drivers enjoyed a more spacious cabin and an increased boot capacity. In early 1992, Ford launched an all new ZTEC 16 valve engine, offering improved drivability and marking the return of the XR3i. The lineup was further enhanced with the introduction of the 148 horsepower RS2000 in the autumn of 1991 equipped with a 16-valve version of the Sierra's 2.0-litre engine. The early 90s also saw the launch of the iconic 5th-generation based Escort RS Cosworth. I'll save that for another custom though. In September 1992, Ford responded to criticisms of the Mark V with a comprehensive facelift, addressing concerns about its styling, ride and handling. The revised car received significant updates, including a new grille, bonnet and for the convertible and hatchback models, a redesigned rear end. Other available body styles included an estate and van versions. Fuel injection became standard across all petrol models, and Ford unveiled a four-wheel drive version of the RS2000, delivering vastly improved handling compared to its front-wheel drive counterparts. For the first time in the Escort's history, disc brakes on all four wheels became standard on RS2000 and XR3i models. Additionally, new engine options were introduced for 1993, including 1.3 and 1.4 litre petrol engines, along with 1.8 litre diesel engines. As part of the facelift, Ford improved the crash structure of the Escort and Orion, introducing side impact bars, a reinforced safety cage and enhanced crumple zones. Front seatbelt pretensioners were also added, with airbags becoming standard from 1994. In September 1993, after a decade of use, the Orion nameplate was retired. This had been used on the four-door saloon versions of the Escort. The XR3i variant was discontinued a few months later at the beginning of 1994. Production of the fifth generation Escort concluded in 1995 with remaining socks continuing through 1996 and finally finishing in 1997. It was replaced by the sixth and final generation Escort in 1995. And now a word on the car that has inspired this build. RS2000 Escorts were phased out in June 1996, with this the last Escort to carry the famous RS badge. The Project 2000 Escort was registered in August 1996, and going into 1997, it was converted into Max Power's flagship demo car. Based on an F2 kit car reminiscent of those in the British Rally Championship of the 90s, Ford Motorsport would provide the car's shell, with Gordon Spooner Engineering working their magic on the bodywork, fitting it with Cosworth panels, World Rally Championship vents and a roof scoop. Under the bonnet, Mountchain transformed the car into a near 250 horsepower monster, adding sliding throttle bodies, aggressive cams and a custom map. But as ever with Max Power, it wasn't just about performance. The car was decked out with Moret twin headlights, TSW wheels and the luminous Carmen Rot pink paint job, originally found on Porsche 964s of the same era. More recently, Project 2000 has undergone modernisation with upgrades including an Omex 600 ECU, coilover suspension and high spec brakes, living out a life as a road legal track day car. At the car's most recent MOT in March 2023, it had recorded only 25,905 miles from new. Now with new owner Jamie, Project 2000 has undergone a revitalisation, taking it back to as near to the original max power spec as possible. I'll leave a link to Jamie's Instagram in the video description. 
But now I am reassembling my tribute build to Project 2000 with this Max Power Spec 5th Gen Escort casting. All that's left to be done is thread the rear tongue and slot fitments and connect the front with a screw. So here was how the rather bland, boring and black marked Majorette Ford Escort model presented itself. I saw some potential in this to create a tribute Project 2000 Max Power build for Diecast Heroes Magazine's April Challenge. What I came up with is by no means a replica, but rather provided me with inspiration to convert this older Mark Escort into something a bit more racy. So let's take a look at what I did with it. From baby blue to baby pink, and then some. I've spiced up this basic casting with a fluorescent shade of pink, Project 2000 style headlamps, double five spoke Momo arrow wheels by Creative 164, lime piping to the upholstery as a nod to the lime coloured roll cage of Pinky, a tastefully 90s rear wing, and some added touches of additional detailing here and there. I'm so pleased with the overall look, but what do you think? Leave the video a like if you enjoyed it and give me your take in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to stay posted with all of my latest quirky projects. I've got a few more midweek side projects up my sleeve, so hit that notification bell to be the first to hear about it. Be sure to follow me at DiecastRestos on Instagram too, but all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.